Hey guys, what's going on? So I want to check out this this model I just designed yesterday. I think I think I did it yesterday or maybe the day before. I don't know. But anyway, it's a really cool model. Check it out. It's called the Lollipop. Okay, you can see. So it has a nice it has a nice bill piece of candy right here, and it has a nice stick right here. Okay, and yeah, and this is not all folded from just one sheet of paper. The stick is folded from a um, a separate sheet of paper. Okay, so it goes in just like that. Okay. And the candy is folded from a six inch square of kami, okay? And yeah, so um, I'm gonna show you how to fold the candy from six inch kami, and then I'm gonna show you how to fold the stick from this sheet of paper right here. It doesn't really matter what dimension, but all right. So I'm gonna first start out by showing you how to make the candy, okay? So ready, set, here goes. All right, so for this model, I'm going to use a six inch square of kami, okay? All right, so um, let me scoot this over real quick. Just all right. So, um, let's begin white setup, and we're going to divide into fifths. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up. And how far do you want to fold it up? Well, you want to fold it up so that this is twice this. So, just estimate it first, okay? And now, what you have, what you have to do is you have to fold this behind, like this, okay? And you want this point to land in the middle of this edge, so... Yeah, just, it's all about eyeballing it, okay? Estimation. And now fold this over like this. This is really tricky, I know, but, um, we have to do it, though. Okay? Just like that. And once you do that, pinch. When everything aligns, okay? So mine aligns so it's like that, okay? Alright. Now, repeat on this side. And it shouldn't be as hard on this side. Because we already have the guide marks here, so. Just estimate it. We're going to make a 5x5 five five grid, so. When we divide and fit the other way, it's not going to be as hard. Okay. Alright, it aligns, so like that. Okay. Unfold. By the way, this is a pretty tricky model, so. If you're new to folding, I do not recommend trying this, okay? So continue at your own risk, okay? Alright, now fold this edge to the top most pinch marks. Okay? And turn over, and now fold this edge to these two pinch marks. Okay? Alright, now turn over and let's fold in half. Okay. All right, now completely unfold. Okay. Let's now we're gonna do we're gonna reverse these two creases. So we want them to all be valleys. So like that and like this. Okay, unfold. And now what we're gonna do we're gonna fold diagonally in half. But we're not gonna make the whole fold all the way across. Um, I'm not the one for this. Okay. So we're not gonna make the whole fold. We're just gonna fold from this crease to here so just like that and you don't need to make that sharp okay just crease it softly okay and fold from this crease to, to um here okay like that and unfold and do the same thing in the other direction fold in half like this but again we're not making the whole fold we're just going to fold from this crease to here with a light fold like that and from this crease to here, okay? So yeah, don't use your fingernails. Just crease it lightly like this, just with your finger, okay? Now unfold, okay? Now rotate it like this so that these creases are vertical. So they're like facing you, going up and down, okay? So we're gonna, do, we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold this up right in between these two points. So where this diagonal fold hits this crease, so that point, and where this diagonal fold hits this crease, so that point, so we're going to fold it up in between these two points, okay, just like this, okay, here, if you guys don't believe me, I'll draw it in for you, with a, um, I'll use a sharpie to draw it in for you, so you can see it better, okay, so this, 
just going to draw the diagonals in so you can see them better. Okay, there. So now you, now you get the idea, so these two points, okay? And make the fold, okay? Alright, now rotate and do the same thing on this side. So fold them up in between those two points, okay? So now you see where they are? Alright. So fold it up like this, okay? Okay, all right, now unfold and now to fold this edge to the top edge. Okay, and unfold and unfold here. And now to fold this edge to the last crease. Crease sharply. Okay? Alright, now unfold. Okay? Alright, now let's turn it over and let's fold in half. Okay? And yes, we're really folding in half like this. Okay? Alright, now unfold and now um, let's um, reverse the crease so it makes it more flexible when we do the collapse. Okay? And we might as well make that generous. Okay? Because the collapse is pretty complicated, so I just want it to be a, a, quite a bit easier. So, yeah, let's just reverse that crease. Okay. All right, unfold and now. Let's fold in half this way, but um, we're not going to make the whole fold all the way across. Um, we're just going to fold in this middle section here. So, um, we're just going to fold in this middle part right here. Okay. Just like that. And unfold. And now we're also going to make that crease generalist. So turn over and let's fold in half, but we're just going to crease in that middle section. We're just reversing the crease and just keep doing that maybe like five times. Okay? Oh, by the way, this is my. Uh, I'm, after this video, remember, I'm not going to make any more videos until next Friday. Okay? Because this is, this is my weekly tutorial now. Okay? Because I only have these two packs, so. I want this to last me until Christmas, okay? Alright, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Alright, like that, that's good enough, okay? Alright, now, let's turn over, let's fold that diagonally in half. And we're just, again, we're just going to crease in the middle segment, so just right here. Like that. And we're going to make that crease here in the list, so. Just like this. I mean, you don't need to make them general lists. Um, that's what I didn't do with this model. I didn't make them generalists. Okay, so it's pretty hard to do the collapse. Oh, you can also use a sheet of printer paper cut square to make this model too. This is what it looks like. Okay, but I like it from Kami because it looks better. Okay. All right. So generalist diagonal. So this. All right, and might as well do the same thing in the other way. Crease in the middle segment. Okay, and make it genderless. Okay. Like this, okay? Alright, so here's our middle portion right here, okay? This is gonna be the middle of the lollipop right here, okay? Alright, so now we're gonna do find the left square from the middle square to the left. Okay, we're gonna make a series of creases on this too. So we're gonna do two diagonals on it and then the two, you know, vertical and horizontal, okay? And here's how we're gonna do it. And they're gonna be generalist too, okay? So let's fold this raw edge to this crease here. Okay, but we're just gonna fold from here to here. Like that, okay? And now take this raw edge and fold it to this crease. Okay, and just fold from this crease to here. Okay, all right, now let's make those generalists. So turn over and fold them like this. Okay. Let's just crease it. You can also do it on the same side too. You can do it like this. And I'm not going to do it like that. Okay. 
make them really generous. So it makes the collab easier, okay? All right, now turn over, so colored side up, fold this edge to the crease. Well, it actually doesn't really matter which side, but that's what I did with the, with the with this model. I just did color that up for this, okay? All right, enough of that. Let's just continue making it. And we're just gonna fold the middle segment, so just right here. Okay, unfold and let's make that crease generous, so. Like that. All right, now let's fold in half like this, but um, we're just gonna crease on the side, so. Um, we're just gonna crease on the left side and on the right, so. So just from this crease to here, so like that, and from this crease to here, so like that. All right, now make those generalists, so turn over and crease them. Like this. Okay, like that. So that side's done, okay? Now let's make the diagonals and stuff and the rest on this side, on this square here. So here we go. Fold this edge to here. Actually, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna go male speed for this because we're doing the exact same thing now, guys, as here, okay? If you wanna rewind and hear me talk for it, um, you can click here, okay? Click on the link. Okay. Yeah, you'll get the idea, hopefully. Okay. We're doing the exact same thing, just on this side, that's all. Yeah, doesn't isn't it so much better now for six inch commie instead of printer paper cut square? Ooh. Yeah, and four inch squares too. I mean that stuff is good, but I just think origami's origami paper is a lot better. Well yeah, it's easier to see much easier to see. I'm sick of painting paper too to make it like it because it's a lot. Of... Plus I'm just wasting my paint too so yeah. <laughs> so I only got like three things of paint. Acrylic paint. Okay. Alright. I need more paint anyway because I am running low. I'm pretty low on the red one. On the red paint. I don't have a I don't have a whole lot of paint left, guys. So yeah, so I better use this paper wisely. Cause Christmas is still several months away. So yeah. All right. So now let me rise the camera up a little bit. Like this. All right. Now, um, we're gonna do we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold this up. How far? Well, it doesn't really matter how much. This is the lock, so um, I say probably about like this. If you're using a six inch paper, then I say probably about like this. All right, now repeat on this side. I'm just gonna match what I did up here. Okay, like this. And now unfold those. So these two folds right here, that's going to be the lock of the lollipop, which means it's going to stay, you know, together. All right, so now let's assemble this thing. So let's make those folds again, those original folds, the five folds we did to make the five by five grid. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do, we're going to take the sides like this and we have to overlap them like this. So we're just going to take this edge and we're going to bring it to this crease, just like that. So we're just overlapping this segment, like this whole segment here, okay? Just like this, like that, okay? All right, now, um, this is kind of tricky because you have to hold everything together, but um, we're gonna try to fold this brim inside on the existing crease we just made. See, that's the lock we did, so. And then taken, we're just gonna fold it in like this. Okay, hold everything together, guys not really that good when it opens up like this. So just keep everything 
in place. Okay, I like that. Oh, came undone. Be careful so it doesn't come undone. There you go, got it in. All right, now let's repeat on this side. Okay, like that. All right, now let's collapse this thing. So um, this is this is the tricky part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make a water bomb base out of these um, creases we just made. So um, what we're going to do is um, we're just gonna um, bring everything in like this. I'm gonna actually do it on this side and put your finger in so that um, keep this crease up like that. Okay, and. And yeah, this is this is challenging, even for me. So if you're having trouble with it, don't punch yourself or anything. Okay, this is this is annoying. <laughs> this is an annoying step. And go ahead and do it on this side too. Okay. Oh lord, this is freaking hard. So I'll probably call this model maybe intermediate, high intermediate, I don't know. It's a it's a monumental model, so please don't attempt this when you're a beginner, okay? Please don't. Please do not do it. Try something simpler first. Unless you're really experienced to try this. Only those who are really experienced, you can attempt this if you want. But this is hard even for me. All right, like this. All right, now, so that was the tricky part. Now the last part, which isn't like terribly hard, we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of, um, just kind of flatten it just a little bit like that, okay? And now we're gonna do, we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to that crease. It's easiest to do it on the table, not in the air. <laughs> okay, and unfold. And now flatten it this way now and take this edge and fold it to that crease. Okay, just like that. And unfold. And now flatten it this way now. And take this edge and fold it to here. Okay? We're gonna make it rotationally symmetric on this. So, so yeah. Okay, and I think one last time. Flatten it like this. Yep, this is the last time. Okay, and take this edge and fold it to that crease. All right, now unfold, okay? Now, leave this side alone for now, okay? And let's do it on this side now. So flatten it, and here we go. Fold this edge to the crease. Make sure everything stays together, too. Okay? It's not good when everything opens up like that. You have to keep everything together. That's part of the challenge of this model. God, this is probably one of the hardest dang models I already taught so far, okay? And then just keep folding it to the crease. Keep flattening it and fold it to the crease. Four times. That's a total of four times, so yep. Alright, now comes the kind of tricky part. We're gonna do we're gonna um just you have to keep everything together like this. Okay. So we're gonna do is we're just gonna take um we're just gonna take this and we're get we're just gonna fold this down on the crease like this. Stay together. Okay, like that. And you just have to keep doing that all the way around. Okay? Make sure that these creases don't um have glitches or anything, okay? So just like that, okay? 
Now once you got something like this, you can just kind of take it and just kind of make it like that, okay? And whoa, look at that. Here's one side of the lollipop. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. All right, now, if you weren't able to do it on that side, so you can do better on this side, okay? Here we go. This isn't the simplest part of the lollipop. This is tricky. Okay. Like that. It's just that you have to hold everything together too. Like that. Now just kind of bring everything back together like this. Close everything up. Okay. Just like that. Here is the other side. Alright. So here it is. The candy. Alright. Now shall we make the stick now all right so here it goes now the stick is super easy okay so all you have to do is just get a little sheet of paper like this. this is probably i don't know about three and a half inches here and then probably two inches here i don't think it matters what dimension you use okay all right so just put the candy to the side right now because we're gonna be putting the stick inside okay so the stick is really easy just fold in half And this is just a piece of eight and a half, I don't know, I think by 11 that I made. And fold in half again. Okay. And then again. Okay. And then do it one more time. If you're using paper, that's this dimension I'm using. Okay. This paper is probably about three and a half inches in length and then probably two inches in width okay all right and here's our stick okay yeah how much simpler was that than the candy all right now to attach the stick on all you do is just um i like to pick the side that's not as pretty this is more pretty than this side so i'm just going to stick it in here okay this is the bottom of the light pop this is the top okay and what you do is you just, you just have to put the stick inside you have to jam it inside like that okay shouldn't be that hard and here it is here is your lollipop so yeah, maybe you can make it out of different colors. Maybe if you made made it from brown, it can be like a caramel lollipop, a caramel lollipop. What should I call this flavor? Maybe blue raspberry or blueberry, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, made it out of red. Make make it cherry or strawberry or watermelon. I don't know. But all right, so here it is. And what's also cool about it is that it is an actual model. Okay, you kind of have to remove the stick for this. But um, what's also cool is that you can open this up right here and then you, you know you can put a gift inside you can put a gift inside okay and then you know you can close it back up and then give it to someone to open okay just like that you can do it on either side you can do it on this side too doesn't really matter what side so you can put something inside there and then close it back up and give it to someone as a gift for their birthday or something Okay, just like that. All right, so here it is, the lollipop. So you can put the stick on. All right, so there it is. Well, I hope you guys managed to fold that. I know it was a really monumental model to fold. It's a monument. It's it's a really complex model, I know. I'm probably going to say it's probably a high intermediate model, probably. Okay? But yeah, if you did manage to fold it, well, congratulations. And I'd like to see you make a demo of it, okay? So, yeah. If you had trouble with this model, I don't blame you. It's a tough model, but um, don't feel bad if you didn't fold it, okay? It's a challenging model, even for me, okay? But yeah, I just think it's really cool because you can put some, you can put stuff inside. It kind of looks like two cubes, too. Or maybe, if you'd like, remove the stick. Maybe hold right here, and then, or maybe right here, and you can probably blow like a spinneroo. <sighs> oh. oh, there it goes. Fell off the table. Alright, well, hope you guys like that, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.